investors, welcome to Stocks to Watch, where we delve into the latest trends and top picks in the investment world. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and today we have a very special guest who's a driving force in the commodities sector. Alistair Waddell is the co-founder and director of NewQuest Capital, Inc. Alistair and his team have a remarkable track record of identifying, acquiring, and developing high-quality, undervalued mineral exploration projects around the globe. With a strong in-house technical team and a global network, Work of geoscientists, NewQuest Capital is uniquely positioned to uncover hidden gems in the mining industry. So, whether you're an experienced investor, a commodities enthusiast, or a Gen Z or millennial eager to learn more about star companies in today's market, I bet you this episode will be packed with insights you won't want to miss. Alistair, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on, Ashley. It's a true pleasure. I'd like to begin with the story behind how and why NewQuest Capital was founded and its primary focus right now. Absolutely. So uh, NewQuest was put together a number of years ago now, and it was really a, a group of like-minded individuals that, that came together, uh, really recognizing an opportunity in, in the mining sector. Um, really, it uh, there was a lot of... Um, groups that are focused on exploring for um, mineral properties around the world, but not many groups were actually doing real early stage exploration. So there was a very much a gap in the uh, the industry that we recognized. And uh, there's a tendency for a lot of groups uh, to to focus on uh, on projects that have been discovered previously in different cycles and uh, essentially um, not really adding a lot of value to those, but uh, really to get it out there and do early stage exploration, there weren't many groups out there doing that. And and that was the opportunity. But uh, NewQuest really is a group of, say, of like-minded individuals uh, with, a, with a good mix of uh, expertise, uh, both technical and capital market expertise. But uh, it was really that, that opportunity recognition. Uh, seeing there was a space in the market to generate projects specifically for the the major mining companies. Uh, we recognize that the major mining companies weren't doing a lot of early stage exploration either. So we're very much focused on exploring new for new things in jurisdictions, ultimately where the major mining companies would like to own their assets in, in the long term. But doing our own things, we generally... Uh, acquire ground ourselves. Uh, we don't generally do third-party deals, for example. We go out and acquire big tracts of land and uh, generate big targets that uh, should appeal to the major mine companies. Yeah, it sounds like incredible foresight, number one. Number two, it sounds like you've really dug your heels into a very unique niche. And I understand your portfolio today consists of several promising companies. Maybe you can tell us about each of these companies and how the opportunities were selected specifically. Absolutely. So we're, there's five companies in the portfolio currently, and I'll just walk through them one by one, uh, three of which are, are publicly uh, traded, uh, both in, in Canada and, and the US. Uh, we start with uh, Inflection Resources. This is uh, a company that's exploring for large copper gold deposits in, in Eastern Australia. Again, an opportunity recognition, uh, recognizing that it was a belt of rocks that uh, hosts some of Australia's biggest copper gold mines. And uh, this big north-south trending belt of rocks disappears under a blanket of younger cover. And that whole northern extension of this belt called the Macquarie Arc uh, had really never been explored. So we set about acquiring the entire northern extension of that belt. And Inflection is the biggest holders of uh, exploration licenses uh, in the state of New South Wales, Australia. And uh, we've got a large partnership there with a major mining company called Anglo Gold Ashanti. So we've been systematically working with uh, with Anglo Gold to to explore this northern extension of this belt for these these giant copper gold deposits. Uh, the second company in the portfolio is Headwater Gold. This is a, a U.S. focused company that's exploring for high grade uh, precious metals in mostly in uh, in Nevada, Idaho, and a little bit in Oregon. But ultimately, uh, we've got a very clear plan there to target very specific deposit types, and was focused on high grade. And again, there's a little bit of a niche in the market there. Uh, looking for the, these narrow, high-grade uh, deposits. And we have a partnership there with the uh, the world's biggest gold mining company, uh, with Newmont Mining. Mm. And we've got four four joint ventures with uh, with Newmont. 
The third company is uh, Red Canyon uh, Resources. This is our newest uh, publicly traded company. And uh, this is uh, focused on uh, copper exploration in, in British Columbia and also in uh, in Nevada as well. But again, that was a little bit of an opportunity recognition. Obviously, we're big believers in copper and uh, and the whole uh, electrification uh, movement that, that's happening right now. And the demand for copper is going to be spectacular, we believe. And uh, we recognize a number of very large-scale opportunities, both in, in British Columbia and, uh, and in the Western U.S., and then we have two private companies, uh, one called Finex Metals, which is exploring for gold and nickel and in far northern Finland. So a little little bit different, but ultimately uh, that one um, has very got a very, very clear focus exploring along known trends of some giant uh, gold deposits and nickel deposits. Uh, ex- and we've got a number of uh, promising uh, properties uh, within that belt as well. And then the fi- fifth Fifth property, uh, fifth company, should I say, is uh, called Conduit Nickel, and uh, this is exploring for high grade nickel in uh, Manitoba, Canada. And ultimately, what we're looking here again, a little bit like the inflection story in Australia, we're exploring the covered extension of a belt uh, that's known to host some giant uh, nickel deposits where it goes undercover. And uh, the big one in the belt there is the, the Thompson nickel mine. It's one of the world's largest, highest grade uh, nickel deposits. And ultimately, uh, it this big belt of rocks disappears to the, the south undercover. So we've acquired the entire uh, extent of that covered uh, portion of the belt. So there's a there's a common theme amongst all of these companies. We like to acquire our own projects. Uh, we like to own 100% of everything. We don't like having royalties to uh, third parties and things like this. But there's a strong focus on, on the geoscience. It's very technically driven and discovery focused uh, across, across the group. So uh, that's really uh, a summary of our, our, our number five companies within the portfolio. And sounds like five very strong companies. You also have in-depth experience overseeing such projects. Um, Can you elaborate on how that experience is relevant to the current portfolio of these five companies? Absolutely. So we've got a, a diverse group of, uh, of principals at NewQuest, uh, but uh, three three of the four are, are geologists. Um, each of us got our own sort of unique skill sets and, and experience. Uh, but uh, we've also got the, the capital market expertise. So uh, we've got um, a, a mix a mix of expertise in that front. Uh, like myself, I used to be the the global head of Greenfields Exploration for uh, for Kinross Gold, looking at new opportunities, exploration opportunities uh, worldwide. Uh, another of my partners uh, was uh, managing exploration in the United States uh, for Kinross Gold. Another one uh, was a mining analyst uh, for many, many years here in in Vancouver. So got to see lots and lots of different opportunities and uh, around the world, and um, obviously got tremendous connections to to the capital markets as well. So we've got a, a broad set of expertise uh, within the principles, but also within a, the broader team, uh, we cover all sorts of different uh, aspects of the business as well, all the way through to to mining and and capital markets as well. So it's it's a broad broad mix. Uh, covering uh, vast parts of the world in terms of experience. Yeah, certainly sounds like a seasoned group besides, you know, having that experienced team. What benefits would you say that companies receive when they operate under the umbrella of NewQuest? Well, there's obviously the financial aspect. I mean, we we, we incubate the, these companies and we finance them and we always participate in the, the various financings that take place uh, as, as we go along. But uh, in addition to capital, uh, there's that, that technical expertise. There's a sort of cross-pollination, if you will, uh, between the groups. Uh, there's a strong sort of uh, technical uh, pool of technical people we can draw upon that have got different experience in different parts of the world. But we also, you know, we 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 sort of uh, have a shared. Um, uh, we we keep the cost down. Uh, we've got a sort of a corporate um, setup where we uh, we share office costs and CFO and corporate secretarial things and marketing and things like that. So we're able to be very um, capital efficient and uh, and really keep the cost down and uh, keep things simple. So it's uh, it's a combination of, of the sort of the technical expertise and also just being very um, careful with the, with the capital, being able to to share those costs across the groups. Sure. And with that being said, why would you say investors should consider your portfolio companies as worthy additions to their investment portfolios right now? 
Well, it's really, as, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it's that exposure to the early stage Greenfields uh, exploration. It's, uh, it's, not a, it's not a part of the, the, the sector that's really very, very popular. We believe we're filling a, a bit of a niche. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, uh, we like to own 100% of our assets. So they're, it's very, very clean in typical, uh, typical deal structures that we, we have in place, uh, typically royalty free. And um, we've got maximum exposure to to discovery. And one of the things I didn't touch on is the scale of the targets we typically generate. We're typically looking for giant deposits, looking for true tier one scale uh, mineral deposits that will appeal to the major mining companies. So we are looking for something very, very large. We own 100% of our properties, and uh, it's really having huge exposure to to potential discovery uh, led by a, a group of very, very seasoned uh, explorationists and capital market uh, experts. Certainly sounds like maintaining operational efficiency, scalability, as you just mentioned, with a disciplined financial approach and robust back office support. Alistair Waddell, co-founder and director of NewQuest Capital, Inc. Thank you so much for joining us here on Stocks to Watch. And we look forward to hearing more from you in the very near future. Thank you very much, Ashley.